gotta talk some shit today. Assassin's Creed is a game where you can live out your ninja abilities as much as you want, all your fantasies, jumping from the rooftop, stabbing people without them seeing you, stabbing them in the back, etc, etc. But the thing about these games is that you're always doing the same thing, stabbing people, you know, tailing, stealing, pretty much the whole same old same old, even though they add little, little new elements like the power hook or what is it, grapple hook, I'm sorry, grapple hook and all that stuff. So what my thing is that why don't they just do it, you know, do what they always trying to do, be an assassin or anything, just be the original assassins and ninjas. I'm not saying they're original assassins, but you know, the ones that anyone cares about and knows. The thing about these Assassin's Creed games is that you tend to get bored with them, and I think this might be the last one that I've ever bought, and I've been a fan since probably 2007, since the first one. You have to be honest with yourself, when they first show these games, they're never as fun as when you actually play them. At first, when you first see them, you're thinking, wow, this is going to be crazy, you're going to be able to do all these crazy things that they've shown in the previous and cinematics, but then when the actual game comes, you feel kind of limited. Why is that? Because they know how to hype you up, they know how to get you, you know, crazy about the game, get you excited, propaganda and whatnot. So what's the appealing factor? Pretty much anyone who's a fan of ninjas and jumping around and stabbing people, really. That's the reason why I got caught up. I remember as a kid I was so excited thinking about it, wow they climbing up buildings, stabbing people, throwing people off, you know. I used to play games like that like with the toys and everything. But like I said before, eventually all the gaming plays and everything that you fantasize about gets old. So what does that leave you with? to keep you coming back to it. The story. So what? who can actually explain what the story is to Assassin's Creed? Don't worry, I'll wait. Because I can't. The reason why is because they don't even know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing, they don't know what they're doing, you don't know what they're doing, so what exactly are they doing? No one freaking knows. Only the game knows, apparently. So that's why they want you to keep playing and keep on these little, little, little details that they add and think, making you think that this is a story. There is none. So, what I'm saying is cut the bullshit and then just let the game be what it is. Running around stabbing people. And they know it can't have it like that because people will stop playing and lose interest. Why? Because that's not what people crave. People crave a, a better story. People love storytelling. Not saying gameplay isn't a key element. Just saying it needs more. You know? This isn't back in the, in the 80s. Not knocking this. Not knocking these games. But this isn't back in the 80s where you'll play Pac-Man and that's it. Even though Pac-Man's premise was who gets the highest score. That's why I had arcades, you know, people socialize and see you got the highest score, talk shit, ha ha ha, you can't beat me, you can't beat me. So, we've moved on past that where we have home consoles and basically their home theaters, you could say. Because these games tell stories. Some of the best games that you think, that you know of or think are great, they have the best story in them. Think about the games that came out in 2015. All the top, I'll say top five games. Those are some of the best stories that you just follow. You know, sit down, listen to them. So what I think they should do, take a three year break. Not even two, take a three year break. So they can sit down and try to figure out exactly what they're gonna do. Cause right now all they're trying to do is sell off premises. Mob boss, what was the, what was the last one? Uh, uh, French revolutionary, before that a pirate. Sit down and think about what they actually supposed to do. Cause they've even killed off freaking Desmond and that was supposed to be like the last the last assassin that you assassin game that you actually played, the last protagonist in that whole series. You know, he was supposed to wrap it all up. But he died and he's still continuing it. Why? Because they don't know where they're going. So just sit down, think about the story, what you're gonna do, maybe even scrap the score take out the story story all together, and then continue from there. I mean, that's what I would do. That's the smart thing I would do. Because if I care about the, the art, because gaming is an art, it is a way of storytelling, just as a movie is or a book. Just different. Just, you know, sit down and think about what you're doing. I mean, I'm pretty sure J.K. Rowling and freaking uh, the guy who wrote, yeah, George R. R. Martin, the guy who wrote Game of Thrones, each book that they made, they sat down and thought about what story is going, where the story is going, what's the key elements, what's the story is about, and everything, you know? And not even just books. Like, look at manga and comics. Freaking, freaking uh, Oda from One Piece. He's able to write down, think about what he's doing. And you can't tell me the story of One Piece isn't golden. Just that's just that's just another topic that I'll that I'll talk about later. But yeah, that's just my thoughts.